Hey guys, welcome back to MA2Bits, where it's my job to show you something cool in Grand MA2 in under five minutes. And today what I want to show you is how you can make Trust Move. I think it adds a lot of coolness to your show and you might actually be one of the lucky ones to get to control moving trust in a real life scenario. And in that case, of course, it's super nice to be able to pre-visualize that. All right, so let's take a look at our show file for today. I have a black truss, which I personally love, and eight Sharpies right underneath it. And what we want to accomplish is move this whole contraption up and down. Also, I went ahead and added a little bit of a trick here. Um, I have these two cables, which are pretty much just two cylinders from the primitives column in the media database. And I just added those to make it all look just a little more realistic. I just don't like this look of, of the truss moving in 3D space without anything holding it up. All right, enough with that though. Let's go and hook up Granime on PC. And first what we want to do is go to Setup, Patch and Fixture Schedule, and then add a new layer. And we're going to call this Moving Path. Now Moving Paths are special controllers by MA Lighting actually, and these are virtual fixtures that will allow you to animate 3D objects inside of Grand MA 3D, uh, acting like a regular fixture though. And we're gonna see that in a second. And you can see here there are different types. So there's one for rotating, scaling, and spinning, and then translate means moving. And we're just gonna add three of these multi-function moving paths. All right, let's name these so we know which one does what exactly. That was a slightly wrong grammar, sorry about that. Let's close the patch and fixture schedule and hit yes to confirm our changes. And then let's go over to Granime 3D. I already went ahead and opened up the assets window. This is where you can find it. And inside this assets window, open up 3D objects. And you can see down here that our three movement controllers are now inside Granime 3D. So first of all, let's select this part over here. And you can already tell that we made the right selection. We have all our fixtures, the two truss elements, plus our two people in this selection. And now what you wanna do is move this whole group underneath this truss movement controller. So not really like that, but you want to actually assign it to the truss. So you can tell right here that this line is slightly indented. And when that happens, these all belong to this truss move thing path. All right, let's do the same thing with the cable. Again, making sure that we assign it and not just move it underneath. All right. And now back to Grandame on PC. If we scroll down in the fixture sheet, we have our three movement controllers right over here. And I'm just gonna select these for now and we'll store this default value as our starting point. All right, onto the second queue. What we wanna do now is move this whole contraption up. And for that, we already have the correct mode up here. It's translate. Uh, you can just click on it and like that, um, so like rotate or scaling, but in this case, translating is already the correct one. So now I'm just gonna move this Z value up, just like that, and then hit store again and create a second queue. And lastly, let's go in here and change the timing information. What I wanna do is to move this in a really nice and graceful way. So let's see if that worked. All right, not quite. I'm just gonna set this to follow and then, nope. All right, so as you can see, this is not exactly, you know, trivial to get right. Now it's working perfect. Um, one thing to notice about these moving paths is that they kind of don't allow you to move anything very realistically. This is just 
a helper in a way to even get 3D objects to move inside of Granimate 3D. So you'll have to put a little bit of extra effort in there to make it look realistic, just like I did now with the cables. But once you learn to work around these challenges, then it can be really cool to have a show where you actually have trust moving around. And with that being said, this is the end of this video. Again, you can find the show file completely for free as a download in the video description. Also, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. It would mean the world to me. And there's a new big tutorial video coming every week and then MA2 bits sprinkled in between. So for now, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.